To start off, we will be discussing fill and stroke. This is a really important concept inside Illustrator which you need to learn first before even drawing your first shape. Now, in plain terms, fill is just your shape's color and stroke is just your shape's outline. Now to show you some real world usage of both of these properties, here are some artwork I've created. So the first artwork was created just by using the shape's fill and no outline. You can see that by just using the fill of the shapes, we were able to create simple artwork that is very appealing. Now the next one has no fill but has stroke instead. And as you can see, we were also able to create art just by using this property. Now, and in this last sample, we were able to create a simple artwork again by utilizing both the fill and the stroke properties of the shapes. The artwork is now more appealing and you can differentiate the artwork's main elements. Now, I don't mean that you use the stroke and fill for all, for all your game art, since the usage or the usage will also vary depending on the style you like to create. Now for some shortcuts, if you press D on your keyboard, the shapes will be reverted to default style which is the black stroke and the white fill. Now you can lay out your basic shapes here while in this kind of style first. Also by pressing X, it swaps the active property of a shape. Also when you press Shift S, the shapes fill and stroke get swapped. This is really useful for those times when you just want to invert your shapes fill and stroke and maybe because it is not it is needed or you just want to test something out. And lastly, when you press the forward slash in your keyboard, the active property of the shape will also be removed. So if you have a shape that you want to have no fill, you just press the forward slash key. And the same also goes for your stroke. So yeah, that's the basics of the fill and stroke property. And with enough practice, you are sure to be proficient in using these features. So just familiarize yourself with them. In the next video, I will go over the next fundamental tool, which is the pencil.